welcome back to my channel so I've been a little bit naughty lately I went to Kmart and I spent a little bit of money you can't help it that just happens every time you walk into Kmart right when I walk through those doors something inside of me goes a little bit crazy and I literally just throw everything into my trolley I can't help it do you have that same problem <laughs> I picked up a bunch of Kmart homewares and decor and I'm so excited to show you guys because it's all really affordable beautiful pieces that I think you're all gonna love I was feeling like my house was looking a little outdated and I just need to spruce up my decor a little bit just a few pieces here and there I thought would add a really nice touch I went and I picked up some of the pieces that are trending right now I've got a little bit of a vision of what I'm gonna do but we'll see how it plays out Okay, let's jump on into the haul. Ooh, what to begin with first? Um, I know, we'll do this one. Check out this huge vase I bought. This is the Anko large vase, 38 centimeters high by 28 centimeters. No, that's not right. Ignore that. By 25 centimeters diameter. Isn't that beautiful? It's huge. And this one was only $19. $19. Couldn't quite believe my eyes. And I don't exactly know where I'm going to put this one yet. <laughs> but I just saw it and thought it was such amazing value. And I really love the shape of it. So it comes in narrower through the top here. And I just thought to have some really nice big flowers coming out of it. Probably white because my theme is basically green, white and grey in my house with pops of blush. But I'm thinking about phasing out the blush. I don't really know if I really want to do blush tones anymore. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I even like the idea of what they've done with just the single flower coming out of it too. I don't know. I'll jump on Pinterest and get some ideas. But if you have any suggestions, feel free to let me know where you think this should go and what I should put in it. Next, I picked up these gorgeous Pompous Grass leaves. Is that what you call them? They're the Enco Pompous Grass Natural. Aren't they amazing? They came in another colour as well, but I like the natural colour. I just, I feel like it kind of fits in anywhere being natural <laughs> so I mean they could probably even go in here you might bring down the size a bit you probably need to fill it up a lot more than this and cut it down but I'm gonna put them somewhere and I was inspired to get these from a photo shoot I did recently a bridal photo shoot that was a boho theme and Jess, who did all the floral arrangements, she had these there and I thought they were so pretty and I wanted to get some for my home. So I did. And now I've got to find somewhere to put them. I was thinking about popping them in our lounge room over under our TV unit to the side, somewhere over there. So yeah, I'm so excited. They're so pretty. And these ones came to $7 a piece, so I got four, which was $28. If you're anything like me, you can't have enough artificial fake plants in your house. I just love to see pops of green throughout, and I'm obsessed with the little Hessian pots. I've got tons of these in my house already, and I thought this one was so cute. It's so little and gorgeous, and it's really lifelike looking, so I had to have it. It's called the Plant in Basket and it was $15 and on the inside here it's just got like a stone detailing in there. So it looks really pretty and natural and you can sit this anywhere really. I was thinking about putting it up on my kitchen bench along where my, my back splash, splash back, splash back, splash back? Yeah, my splash back is. People call it a backsplash and now I get so confused. What do we call it? Splash back or backsplash? Anyway, I was thinking of popping it up there and having like a little candle next to it. I thought that would look really nice. And then I came across this gorgeous stone ceramic 
what's it called? The reactive pot and it's for outdoor and indoor use. I'm going to use it inside because I have a plant that I want to put in it. But the colouring is so gorgeous. So it's like a really pale bluey grey with little flecks of darker blue through it. And that's the inside there too. And then I had this other plant from Kmart. I've had this one for a little while. It's the eucalypt artificial plant. And I was never really fond of just having the white pot that it was in. So I wanted to find something to put it in and I thought this would look really pretty. So I love it in here. I think it looks really cute and it's even one that I could probably put on our dining table and put some candles with it or put it in our movie room because I kind of need to do something in there too. And this pot was only $7. Such a great deal. So I should grab a couple more actually just to have around the house or I could even put them across the dining table like three in a row and just have, you could put a couple of different flowers and things in them and that could look quite nice too. And then I came across this gorgeous stone tray. It's really beautiful. It's called the Oblong Tray and it was $7. It's really, it's quite heavy. It's got a bit of weight to it. Um, on my kitchen bench behind my sink area behind the faucet I've got a few things sitting there like a little vase with flowers and candle and some hand wash and I'm sick of them always getting wet underneath because the water goes up there so I wanted to find something to sit everything on and I thought this would be perfect because it's not too dissimilar from my actual countertops in colouring so that would be perfect. I mean generally you would probably use these in your powder rooms or your bathrooms but I think it should look quite nice up on my kitchen bench and just keep everything kind of together and neat and all in one place. And to go on it I mentioned that I had hand wash and that sort of thing. I found this really beautiful glass soap dispenser and then it's got the gold lid on top. It's called the soap dispenser glass <laughs> and it was $8. So I actually thought that would look really pretty up on the kitchen bench. So I could sit this on there and have like my candle and my flower here. So I think that looks quite nice. What do you think? Is it too fancy to go on a kitchen bench? We can be fancy these days, right? Anyway, I'll have to show you guys and you can tell me what you think. Otherwise, I'll end up putting it in my ensuite. But I think I might go and just grab another one to go in the ensuites because it looks quite pretty, doesn't it? And then I'll just fill this with clear hand sanitizer. Speaking of kitchen benches, we've got a really large kitchen bench and I do try to keep it clear. However, I feel like it needs a little bit of something on it at the end. So I wanted to sit a couple of little things just to break up the bench space a little. And I wanted to get a tray to sit them on. And I found this is the, it's just called the wooden tray. I found this one and I was contemplating spraying it white and then sitting everything on top. But I'm not sure. I'll have to see how it looks because most things I have are kind of grey marble and white so I don't really know how this colour is going to go but I love the tray itself so I definitely wanted to get it and it's so easy to just spray it if you need to. And this one was $12 and it is quite large as you can see it's very big and will fit a lot of nice things on it. And then I was thinking instead of spraying it why not just find something to lay on it that might just break up that colour a little bit. So I went and had a look at the placemats and I saw this really beautiful gold one. And I had silver as well and I'm kind of kicking myself I didn't grab the silver at the time. But I'll probably go back and grab it and see how the silver looks too. But anyway, I thought this one was really beautiful. It's got a really nice shine to it and it's kind of translucent. It's called the Round Scrib Placemat in Gold and it was $1.50. 
So I thought about sitting it on top here like that just to really give it a little bit of shine. See how beautiful that looks and sparkly. So that's without and with. And it's like the perfect size. I couldn't have got a better fit if I tried really. So I thought that might look nice. Let me just show you something sitting on it with like a few little things sitting on it on the end of the bench. What do you reckon? Should I spray it white or keep it this colour and get the silver place matte and see how that looks? Let me know what you think. Next, because it is so chilly, I really wanted to get a new throw rug because ours are getting a little bit tagged, tagged, <laughs> not tagged, tattered. Tattered, is that the word? A little bit old and worn because the kids grab them, they drag them around the house and then the dog grabs it and whatnot. So the other ones are getting a little bit peeled, a little bit holy. And I saw this beautiful gray and white throw rug. It's the Enco Throw Carter Tassel Knit. It's 1.27 meters by 1.52 meters and it's reversible. So I thought that would be perfect. And I just love the little tassel effects. It's so cute. And being woolen, it's gonna be nice and warm. So we'll undo it. Have a look, I actually haven't seen it undone yet. Wow, it's quite big. Okay. So it also does have the reverse white as well and then it's got the grey stripes down the end cute huh I really love it it's gonna be so nice and cozy just to keep us warm and we can snuggle up at night together and watch movies it would actually make a really lovely gift like if you had to give a housewarming gift or it would be a beautiful baby blanket too. I could actually see this going in Kai's cot. I might have to grab another one. And it was only $18 so money well spent there. Definitely worth every cent. It is actually a really beautiful rug and being woolen it's really going to keep you nice and toasty and warm. So right now I'm kind of in the mood to do some big makeovers on the house and the kids rooms especially because they're getting older I really need to update their decor and kind of move Kaisy out of that baby stage and the girls out of the little girl stage because they are getting older and they want to add things to their room and it's just getting super cluttered and we just need a change so I was looking in the decor section, the kids decor section, and I found this gorgeous canvas for Kai's room and it's the map of the world and it's got all the animals in all the different countries that they live in. Over in Australia we've got the kangaroo and just like we've got the bears and the elephants, giraffes, what else have they got? All the whales out in the ocean, these little guys, what are they? What are they? Um, is that a sloth? I think it's a sloth. But yeah, I thought that was so cool. Let's see if you guys can zoom in a little bit and show you. So it's just a really pale gray canvas then with the white outlines and the black animals. So really cute. I thought I would hang it up on his bedroom wall somewhere. We <laughs> actually had to take down his canvases near his cot because he pulls them off the wall. And I have another little hanging thing in his room. It's like a, um, hello. Do you hear that bee? He's also got another little hanging thing that he's grabbed it and he's rubbed it along the wall like this and he's put marks all over the wall so he's completely destroyed it. We literally need to repaint his bedroom. However, I'm hoping now that he's a little bit older, a little bit more wiser, he might actually appreciate it. I'm sure he won't. But anyway, I thought this would look beautiful up on his wall being that pale grey with the white and then the little black animals and this canvas 
was only $7. Like that is so affordable. You can really style your home beautifully with Kmart for such an affordable price. Like blows me away every single time I go in there. The kids wanted to join in on this video so I'm gonna try and squish us all in. Here's Kaizy. You say hi. Hi. <laughs> all right, next. Oh, could you please grab me that swan right there? If you guys saw our recent birthday vlog for Ella, she turned six. Thank you. And one of the presents that she picked out from Kmart was a little plush toy swan. And Thank it was really beautiful. Thank I'd already you. seen them in there before. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I went, oh, it's an angry swan. <laughs> I wanted to grab some for the girls' bedrooms to go on their bed because I thought they were so just cute and classy and I just knew that they would love them. Anyway, Ella had picked out one for her birthday and I still wanted to get Indy one as well. And Ella named hers Queen Swan. <laughs> Isn't it? It's Queen Swan. And she sits perched on your bed. And here's the other one that Indy got. So she's really gorgeous, she's all fluffy, she's got a glittery beak and a little closed eye there because she's sleeping. Mm. She's sleeping? Yeah, she's sleeping. If yours is Queen Swan, then mine's Princess Swan. <laughs> okay, so we've got Queen Swan and Princess Swan. So I'm just trying to remember how much this swan was. I think it was about seven or eight dollars. I can't find the receipt for it, but I'll find it and I'll link it down below. Okay, and then, lucky last, is I wanted to get a new big boy um, plate, bowl, cup, spoon and fork for Kaizy. So this one is the shark gift set. And it's BPA free, which is amazing. And that's always something that I look for. Hang on, what is going on? Oh, they're stuck together. I'm going like this and like this, but the two little things here are stuck together. <laughs> Mummies are silly, Millie. Yeah. So sure. in the pack, you get your spoon and your fork here. You hold this one for Mum. Oh. Good boy. You get your little cup. It's kind of like a greyish colour and it's got fish and yeah, crabs and <laughs> jellyfish. What? Sharks. It's really cute. <laughs> and then you've got your bowl here, which has got this little detailing around the outside. And it's got these little sparkly stars. And then on the inside, it's got the little jellyfish and then the little reflective spots. <laughs> They're whispering naughty things in my ear. <laughs> and then on the plate it's got the little reflective starfish around the perimeter and then it's got the big sharky in here and look at this cool whale with his little hat on he's cute and then the little crabs what is that crab what are these called are they um, lobsters thank you <laughs> for the life of me I could not think of what that was called right now and it just says it's dinner time I don't actually eat lobster I wish I was more like my kids who eat seafood. I eat fish, but not the fishy fish kind. Just I like, like prawns. Flake fish. Yeah. I like prawns. Do you, Mum? Um, I know. You like Meezy. I'm just stony. Meezy never, never fed them to me when I was little. I wish she had them so I acquired well, the taste. Yeah, I feed these guys yeah. seafood so that they yeah. have a better palate than me. Mum, you don't yeah. like it because you've never tasted it. <laughs> I have, I just don't like the texture. Anyhow, Dubby, moving Dubby, on from seafood. Are you guys happy Dubby, with Dubby. these little purchases? Yeah. Yeah. yeah are you yeah. excited? Kaizy, are you excited to eat with your new dinner set? Yeah. You are? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Show the shark on your plate. Can you show the shark? Whoa, baby. Look at, Whoa. Look at his teeth. Where are his teeth? There. Yeah. And then the sharky's teeth? There. there. Okay. I have a robot leg. <laughs> <laughs> look at me. You are crazy. Mommy, look. 
Whoa, look at you go. Okay, so that is everything I picked up in today's haul. I really hope you guys all enjoyed this video and I hope that it gave you some inspiration towards your home and your decorative ideas. And just know that Kmart is so affordable, so anyone on a budget can really go in there and pick up some great quality pieces that are just going to make your home look fabulous. And also be sure to let me know if there's any other hauls you want to see. Please remember to like, subscribe and hit your bell notification button so you're aware of any time I upload a new video and I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Okay, bye guys!